Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. I am a SQL DBA trainer. In this video, I will show you how to change SQL Server port number. Okay. So to change SQL Server port number, go to the configuration manager. Once you install SQL Server, you will get this configuration manager. Go to this configuration manager, hit the windows button and just type config. You will get the configuration manager. Once you can see this configuration manager, there you can see okay so if you have if you see here we can see one default instance right usually the default instance port number is 1433 in the sql server i want to change this default port number or else i want to change even for named instances also same process okay so if you want to change the port number right or default port number this is the process go to the network configuration if you have multiple instances you can see multiple instances protocols here which instance uh, port number you want to change select that instance uh, make sure tcp ip is enabled click ok if you if you enable this tcp ip usually it will take a reboot to take effect so it will ask for reboot to take effect right so once you enable this TCP IP, you go to the properties of this TCP IP, go to IP addresses. There you can see 1433 port number, right? 1433 IP1, 1433 IP2, 1433 like this, IP5 up to IP, IP5, you can see 1433. So I want to change this default port number from 1433 to uh, some other number 1439, okay? So you can change like this 1439, right? So once you change it, apply, and it needs a restart to take effect. Changing port number is a downtime activity. So once you restart, then only the port number will be, the new port number is going to take effect. Okay, just click OK and click OK, and then go to the SQL Server services. And then this is the default instance or SQL Server instance. You can select this instance. This is the restart button, just restart it. This is how we are going to change the instance, SQL Server instance port number. Once server is restarted, please verify whether the new port number is applied or not. Again, by going to the same protocols, go to TCP IP, go to the properties, okay, go to IP addresses. There you can see, go down and you can see 1439 is applied or not. In this way, we can change the uh, SQL instance port number from your default port number to Whatever port number you want, you can change it to that particular port number, guys. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll 